Hi Aquarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 13th to the 19th of July 2020 and I'm doing my nine card spread. Welcome back my Cyber Angel, thank you very much for your likes and shares and you came in together with, um, not, um, let's have a look, together with Capricorn, Aquarius and uh, Aries. So you two are, you three are all liked, like the video with 19 likes. Thank you very much. Every single bit helps. Now I've put a shout out uh, today on uh, YouTube because I'm getting messages or replies from my cyber angels and people that watched the videos from five months ago, three months ago. Something weird is really happening. So I'm asking everybody, please check whether you're registered, whether you've subbed, uh, subscribed and hit the bell on all because I'm also losing my viewers or my cyber angels. So make sure that you are subscribed and so I can uh, be uh, I don't have to worry that you won't get notified that will be one of the reasons so please check whether you are subscribed and have hit the bell and when you hit the bell you get three options and click on all please come back I do miss you and I do love all my uh, old uh, cyber angels and some of the names are even people that come in faithfully every single time I go out and they um, I'm getting message from them from five or three months ago it's ridiculous but my excuses for the inconvenience so please check you're subscribed and hit the bell now if you would like to have an extensive reading with me all the information is below uh, or in the top right hand corner there is a in the screen there is a white circle with an eye click on that and you can find all the information you need uh, like uh, what kind of uh, readings are on offer on my website videos um, reviews etc etc the competition uh, has been postponed or cancelled but there will be a restart and that will be on a Facebook page and not in YouTube as my YouTube um, viewers have um, not sent any information that they are uh, joining in in the competition so there was in the life one lady that said I've made the fishing board I'm busy with it so I am switching over to Facebook I'll be making a special competition okay so here we go with your reading thank you very much for your understanding and your patience and I hope that you will join me in the live sessions Monday Wednesday and Friday usually unless something comes in between and uh, I give away free cards but I also answer questions that are supported with a super chat or a super sticker okay Aquarius this is the Aquarian card or the overall energy card Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and of course the four corner cards that um, verify or confirm the three tarots around it and vice versa and that's with each corner then I've got from the big arcana an extra card from the white witches tarot and I'm using also Archangel Michael's oracle cards and the message from the angels now the first card that you have is the queen of wands now she's a powerful lady she knows what she wants and she will go for it she's creative she is um, uh, passionate about what she wants and she will you know she no wild horses can drag her away from her decisions I know she's hiding her face here but she knows what she wants okay look at those long nails and she's just like a cat she will sit there and watch and wait and think on how to get go about about it to go and get what she wants and she's very very stable 
but when she knows she will jump into action she will pounce like a cat but she is very stable and she knows what she wants she's got that staff to lean on Ooh, she's she can be pussycat but she can also be a lion wow and this lady is so determined that she, well she's a strong lady she's very independent okay so she's good to have as a friend and they're loyal as a friend okay but be careful because um, they are very fast so know their boundaries and let them know your boundaries okay because air you are an air element and they're fire so you can burn each other out so know how far you can go with this person and they and let them know how far they can go with you Aquarius you might be making a new friend or you might be meeting up with a Queen of Wands the Queen of Wands is Leo but it could also be Aries and Aquarius so if this is your card if I take it as a queer card and not the overall energy of passion action uh, creativity logic direct and then it could be you you're in your element so let's see what is ahead for you on Monday you've got the tower an unexpected um, eruption an unexpected um, something is broken down the tower has fallen so you couldn't might have not been able to make decisions or choices so the divine and the universe and the angels did it for you take it as an adventure and don't be scared of it it is exciting new beginning it is 16 7 is a good luck number so you are lucky with this change so be open to it and let the new come in there could be competition about you but it, since you might be taking a, uh, a page out of the Queen of Wands book going for what you want you will be determined so you won't um, worry about the competition a lot of readers or card read, uh, readers say this is a card of disagreement but it is really not it is competition the the card with disagreements at war that's the five of swords and nobody's a winner but if there are disagreements around you unexpectedly then they're short-lived okay this card means competition because in the traditional card it's just a cup young boys um, jostling about with uh, um, the joist sticks right um, uh, I wish I could show you but I've got my other deck somewhere in the drawer okay but it means competition it's not a real fight it's a mock fight okay then we go to that was Wednesday so there could be competition around you especially with this new beginning could be a new job you might be going for a job interview there will be more people around there giving uh, their best as well right then we have the Emperor the Emperor also represents Aries again a fire sign so Leo and Aries are here the Emperor also means that you might be seeking advice from a professional person uh, like a doctor or a social worker an advocate a bookkeeper a lawyer you name it or it could even be a mature man that you respect or a father figure now at the weekend um, we have the five of cups for you and the five of cups well if you follow me then you know what the five of cups means let the past go so that the new can come in take those two cups and make them five six seven eight nine ten of cups everything goes in cycles life does goes up and down but don't cry over spilled milk you can change the present and the future you hold the key to your own power you're moving up from four to five you've got two fives so the angels are giving you a sign that they have your back okay 
and you have got a beautiful reading because you've got a change and this change is going to bring big beautiful things look at that it might be a holiday but it could be a ship of abundance ships were used for import and export and your abundance is coming in wow now you've got a number three here that means creativity and you've got the ten of spades which is the ten of swords which is not so nice and it sounds as if it's contradicting but you must look at it this way you might feel stabbed in the back you might have back pain literally um, but uh, there will is an ending so that where there is an ending there is a new beginning it could be an ending of a friendship but there are more friends around okay and though they will be true friends now this boat is flying above the mountains as you can see so there are not no problems okay there's nothing major okay I know it sounds contradicting but um, the universe has made a clear sweep so uh, non real friends will be swept away whether they like it or not even without you knowing it okay and that could be the ten of swords they are covering your back and giving you a fresh new start that is confirmation it could be with a queen of wands that they've um, put a queen of wands on your path to learn to be more stronger and more determined to get what you want okay and not letting your you be used or abused love friendship money abundance is coming in you know what kind of abundance that might be <coughs> excuse me then we have an other four and it's next to the four so that is very significant good foundations productivity that is what the four means but it can only be productive if you don't um, lock yourself away you can see the garden gate is open but the door is closed nobody's going to come round and knock on your door and say hi how are you they, they might do if they're friends but no you won't get to know new friends or new customers you have to beat the competition so you have to come out of your comfort zone in other words okay perhaps you might get an advisor if you have a shop for instance or a business how can I promote myself how can I bring myself out there um, how can I get out of my comfort zone that type of thing but because the house represents um, safety you feel protected and that's where I get the idea that you might lock yourself away don't lock yourself away but at the at the same time I don't see a moving card here but you might be wanting a house or you might be seeking advice about the house or what you want perhaps you might want to sell your house and move away literally and figuratively from the past and you're seeking advice from an estate agent that could be as well but the four means stability okay and you've got a four four and four and four is eight so that will bring you into the money house and your own power your own security but dare to jump uh, out of your sir, comfort zone when need be okay now if I do an extended reading um, and then I would say this could be a divorce or you're splitting up because you're determined to get what you want and to go your own way but there is a house that it could be concerning between you and a man that you need to sell it and you don't want to sell it perhaps that is your idea or he doesn't want to sell it I'm just giving you an example when I do a one-to-one -one reading the readings of course are far more extensive than what I'm doing here I'm just doing the weekly but this is the line that could be fighting or competition between a man and a woman that could be you or either way and you could be fighting about a house now look at the house 
you might also be meeting a new man this could be the king of hearts the king of um the king of hearts the king of cups and that is cancer but don't exclude scorpio or pisces but the king stands for cancer as that is the first wa house of water okay look at this and you've got the ace of cups so there could be a new love or new passion coming in or you might be buying a house together with a, an, a newly uh, partner and moving in together and it all depends um, what the querence question would be remember this is a general uh, reading and your boats are coming in so perhaps you found a way that you can buy your house like an estate agent or a, a mortgage broker now you see you can already see many more answers by just taking one line just imagine what I would uh, read for you and how much information I could just get from nine cards now I'm going on to so that's the marriage broker or a guidance counselor or a lawyer because you uh, need to settle something between you two about the house could be a marriage it could be uh, that you don't agree and blah 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 I'm go not going any further otherwise it will be too long the video okay but you see how this the this card relates to these three and these three to that now we're going to this uh, corner and we have the ace of spades that's the ace of swords victory is yours you could be uh, meeting um, a new partner you could be meeting a new man because she's dreaming away and she's waiting for love so you could be meeting definitely a new partner she's looking out of the window she's just dreaming how wonderful um, he would be okay now if I take her up she's looking towards the man so that man and that could be that she could be meeting a man that's her victory or she could be like I said because it's lying next to the Emperor the advisor she might be seeking a divorce the angels are here number 11 and she will have victory as she's got the ace of swords or she she's also holding a book perhaps she um, is dreaming that she wants to start a new study or do a workshop because she's determined to bring in the money because she wants to buy the house from you perhaps okay or vice versa okay but you want your own safe place so you might be seeking advice you're determined you don't mind the competition okay now we're going to this corner this could be the man that you're meeting okay because you are uh, no like I said if you're not meeting the Queen of Wands then you might be taking a page out of her book and coming coming into action getting out of your comfort zone in order to get what you want you might beautify yourself and um, spruce yourself up so you're making yourself attractive against more attractive than the competition and he will notice you because look 28 to an 8 is 10 an ending an ending for him to be single and a beginning and an ending for you to be single and a new beginning in passion and love because we've got the cups he will be a nurturing type of man he's got a bare chest right he's got nothing to hide that is the meaning of it and he's also wearing the masculine sign and also the ma sign of Mars this could come into your life unexpectedly whoa and that could be the abundance of love now we're going into the white witches tarot and this is only the big arcana and you've got the hanged man okay now the hanged man 
I'm just holding it upside down so you can see this is uh, more like aboriginal uh, uh, art it is fascinating and it's brilliant for um, what you call it tattoos but the hanged man as far as I know doesn't represent a zodiac sign but most of most uh, big arcana cards represent a zodiac sign so this um, this card means um, there might have been a delay for four uh, hours, four days, four weeks, four months and look you've got four four here because when you have the traditional tarot he's got his one leg like that behind the other and he's hanging upside down now here you can see he's got the world in his hands remember that you've got the world in your hands take step for step there might be delays but take it um, step by step you will win the competition you've got the swords here right wow and don't let anybody stab you walk away from other people's drama get a different perspective that is also what the hanged man means you might even be more um, sp spiritually developed as you have taken time out for yourself and meditated and contemplated perhaps and you've evaluated the situation and I think you have because you're going for advice on how to get what you want perhaps that house or that job sorry or that new love wow this is a very exciting week for you Aquarius now let's see you can come out you can come off that um, um, hanging bar that because he put himself there he wanted to meditate in a different way and see what it w what effect it would have but it was the free choice for to hang okay upside down now you've got a he spiritual card and like I said this is a spiritual card too because you've got the card purple and this is also your feelings might be hiding because at the end of this week we will be going into the spirit of fire the energy I mean of fire resilience yes you are resilient because you're moving on away from the past you're coming out or the advice is to come out of your comfort zone angel wings and when I say angel wings I see wings being spread so you are spreading your wings Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key unlocks your eth etheric wings. Allow your heavenly qualities and gifts to bloom. Right. Let your inner child come out. If you don't believe in spiritual things, then that's more earthly. Spread your wings. Let your inner child come out. It is the perfect time for you to do so. Boom there you go the angels have answered beautiful answer thank you angels well I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care be blessed and please join me um, in the live sessions and again please check whether you are registered subbed and uh, whether you've uh, uh, clicked on the bell and I hope to see you next week. Take care. God bless. And oh, I'm going live tonight as well. So take care. God bless. And be blessed. Stay safe. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the live. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.